the assessment, you should keep that practice task document open and then use it as a to-do list. The first thing was to identify our topic, purpose, etc. And because we've done that, what we can do is we can use the highlight tool to gray it out. And this is a very easy way for us to keep track of where we got to. So the next thing we need to do is choose a template and color scheme in PowerPoint. First step should be to take a new file and save it in your project folder with the file name Base Design Practice Task. Next, you want to type in a title slide and then push Control M to get an information slide. Of course, this looks extremely basic, so your next step is to go into the Design tab and choose an appropriate template. Before you commit to a template, though, it's a really good idea to have a look at the Practice Text document in the Support Files area. This document tells us what we're going to put on each of our slides, and as you can see, it's about classical instruments such as the piano, guitar, violin, flute, trumpet, drums, and harp. We've been given a range of sound effects and images to use in our PowerPoint. So when you choose your theme, please make sure that it matches the context of the task. So a theme like I've got will work quite well for music because it's got fairly subdued colors, which means that the images of my instruments will stand out nicely. One issue with it though, is that the text is quite small. So what I can do is I can make the text on a typical information slide bigger, and then go up in the hot area, click on the title, note down the font and the size, and I'll do the same thing for the text in my points. You can repeat this process for the title slide, noting that the size in this case is 72, and for my subtitle, I'll probably go for a size of 48. Once you're happy with your template choice, you'll need to go into your evidence template and create a slide, call it template choice, and put screenshots of your title slide and a typical slide onto your template choice slide. A quick reminder that not only can you choose from various themes, but each theme has a number of variants with different colors. In addition, if you click on the bottom right hand side in the variations area, you can choose colors, and you can be really specific about what colors you'd like to feature in your presentation.